All right, back for round two of the morning. Uh, this is another one that Roland sent me, actually. I tested one of these last year. It's a Chinense variety known as Amazon, and they ripen to a yellow-orange color. Um, this one is unripe. The other two that I have are ripe, uh, one of which I will be testing. So, uh, since this isn't fully ripe yet, probably can get away with eating the whole thing. So it looks like nice and crisp. So, Amazon. It's already got a good little heat to it. But not nearly as hot as they get. I've had them um, fully ripe, so I know what to expect. Starting to get a good heat. Uh, lips are glowing a little bit, but it's the tongue. It's, just, it's that clamp down of tons of different little nodules of heat that just poof, burst out. <coughs> It's in the throat too, pretty severe. Nice localized. I can feel the trail going all the way down already. Just a slight one. It's not all that pronounced, but definitely noticeable. Yeah, underside of the tongue too. I just whoosh, I can feel my head just radiating out heat. A lot of drool. It was a little faintly bitter and green still, uh, but it had that beginnings of that good fruity flavor. Not really sweet or tart yet. Just the essence of the fruit bursting through the bitterness, blossoming out. <clears throat> Under the tongue now, it's picking up, just building. It's a good burn. I'd put that 50,000 or so. Maybe 70,000. Somewhere in that range. Even at this stage of ripeness. Uh, when I tried them last year. I put them right around uh, standard habanero heat level. 200,000 or so maybe. So they do get pretty hot. But... Lots of drool happening here. Corners of my lips and actually my whole lips now are just little little blaze going on there. Top of the tongue and throat are building and I'm starting to sweat. I'm feeling mellow now, too. I, my gums are starting to prickle with heat now, too. Notice that.
every time I swallow too, I can feel the top of my tongue just whoosh. kind of swoops in with the burn and then bursts back again, swoops in and curls up and poof. Yeah, it's built to a really solid level now on my tongue. Definitely peaking. Well, I don't know if it's peaking, but it's definitely built, still building up to this point. Oh. Nose is running now. Oh. Yeah, that's a good solid burn for a green pepper. Nice flavor, besides the bitterness. Um, yeah, that'd be great. Minced up for a salsa or whatever. Was in the you'd get the heat and that essence of that flavor, but the bitterness would meld with the tartness of the other ingredients, tomato and whatnot. So, yeah, excellent salsa. I bet that would make a killer salsa. That's something that I've never made yet. I made a chutney. I made many hot sauces now of varying consistencies, powders. Never made a pepper mash, fermented or otherwise. I think mashes are always uh, fermented, but anyway, never made those. And I've also, yeah, never made a salsa, so something to consider with some of my harvests this year. Insane amounts of drool. <clears throat> Clearing out my throat. Excellent. The morning mucus is being purged. Not like you guys wanted to hear about that, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, it's dying down. Still can feel it on my lips. Sharp little focal point underneath my tongue. Top of my tongue is still, especially when I breathe over it, I can feel it pretty well. The roof of my mouth's got a good little <coughs> pounding of heat. And again in the throat, but and the th flavor is remaining, so thumbs up on that. But yeah, all right. The unripe Amazon. Cool. Thanks again, Roland. Um, got a few more of his lined up. Uh, one called a Black Cayman, which looks like a chin ends to me. I'll find out when I cut into it. It's partially ripe, but not fully ripe. My son is stirring upstairs a little bit. Uh, also, a, an unripe mustard habanero and the ripe Amazon. I, oh, and one called a black plum, which looks kind of similar to the teal that I've grown, only it's a bit bigger. They're about this big. So, yeah, unripe Amazon. Cool. All right. Thanks for watching again, everybody. I will see you next time. i got plenty more that I'm going to be rolling out in the next few days. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.